embodiments of love. Whether it is a small, or a big thing, everything is preordinated, according to God's master plan. But depending on current circumstances, man bases his actions, upon his ideas and emotions. However it's not possible for anyone, to change God's master plan. Let's hear an example to clear this concept. There is a village. Adjoining the village, there is a main road. Near the village, there is a bridge. The bridge is collapsing. Therefore, it is difficult for villagers to travel. Just because it is getting very difficult to travel, the villagers do not have the right to get together, and repair the bridge. Or, however rich they might be, no one has the right to repair the bridge. Because it is the job of the government. Because it belongs to the government. However, you can repair personal road. You can, add to, or change your individual road. Either to add, or delete, or modify, for good or bad. Bridge is only concern of the government. Likewise, God's plan can be changed by God only. And no one can alter it. Let's continue to hear another example. In ancient times, while convening over a meeting, in the congregation of Brahma, called Brahma Sabha, Mahavishnu declared that, due to all misdeeds, wicked thoughts and bad behavior of Ravana, a child would be born in womb of Kozla, who will kill Ravana. He didn't mention that he would be born to King Dasharatha, because, even if Dasharatha is killed, Kozalaya can marry someone else. Because Kozalaya wasn't yet married at that time. She was still growing in Kosala kingdom, under the care of her father. Narada raised the question. There were many with name Kaushala. Then to which Kaushala, Sri Rama would born. He said, the daughter of Kosala king. The message finally reached to Ravana that, Kaushala was giving birth to one, who would kill him ultimately. Then he decided to plan and kill her. After inquiring, he realized that Kaushala was a little girl. She was aged about 16 to 17. At that time, daughter of minister and Kaushala were playing in the garden. Taking advantage of this situation, Ravana focused his attention on killing her any way possible. But then, he began to doubt, who was Kaushala, and who were daughter of ministers. While playing, the daughter of minister went around calling for Kaushala. Then he concluded who Kaushala was. He took her away in disguise. From the beginning, Ravana had this nature of a thief. All these people with anger and desire have a lot of wicked traits. When Ravana took Kaushala away, one minister also followed him. He prayed to Ravana. Who was this minister? He was Vibhasana, brother of Ravana. Vibhasana said, Oh brother, to kill a woman is a sin. You shouldn't kill such a child in any way. For your own selfishness, you shouldn't destroy a sacred life. Therefore, leave her alive into the ocean. Based on the minister's plan, he prepared a basket. He made some openings in the basket for air to breathe. He made a basket that was fit enough to stay afloat. Keeping the child in that basket and locking it up, he left it into the sea. But none can change God's master plan. The basket rocked here and there due to the waves in the sea and finally made it to the shore of an island. The king of Kosala sent several emissaries. They were all searching Kaushala. At that same time, Sumantha, Dasharatha and Vishwamitra were traveling in a boat. They found a basket, which was locked by Vibhishana. Sumantha went forward to see the basket. They could understand that there was a person inside basket. He broke open the box. When he opened the box, he found a 16-year-old girl. Then, he inquired, who she was. She said, 
I am the daughter of King of Kosala. My name is Kashala. Someone kidnapped me. She didn't know Ravana at that time. Someone took me away and tortured me. Then put me in box. By this time, King of Kosala began searching, telling everyone to find his missing daughter. Let us know the nobility of characters at those times. Dasharatha didn't look at that girl because Dasharatha wasn't married at that time, thinking that it is not right and safe to keep the girl with them. They made arrangements and sent her back to Kosala. Then she told everyone about what had happened. Kosala King questioned Sumantha on who he was and his whereabouts. Sumantha narrated that his king is the king of Ayodhya and that they were traveling along seashore. Happy that he was reunited with his lost child, King of Kosala offered her to be married to the King of Ayodhya. From seashore, they went right away to Kingdom of Kosala. No subjects followed them. Only Dasharatha, his friend Sumantha and few others followed them to Kosala, and there the marriage was performed auspiciously. Similarly, there was daughter of minister, who was playing with Kozalaya for a long time. That girl was married to Sumantha. As you can see, it all happens by master plan of God. However one might try to obstruct it. They cannot change it anyway. Only God himself can change his plan.